was worth recording. Hold on, bonus footage. So, I pick it up and then look at, just like, look at the ground. You just have to do it just right, and it'll do it. If you do it too fast, it won't. So you let it, and it's here. Drop it on the ground. Grab it, and enough? then like, no. It's just a matter of like, looking down at the ground just right. While holding it? Yeah. You, so you like, you pick it up and look down at the same time. If you can get it to jump you once or twice, you'll be able to eventually get it to do it. Okay. There we go. I'm away. There he goes. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so you have to pick it up and look down at the same time? Yeah, pretty much. W once you get it right, you can just start looking straight down at the ground. You're messing with the interaction physics with it, it looks like, because it's not turning red anymore, and I'm holding it. So, like, when you drop it, does it float for a second before it falls to the ground? It doesn't float for a second, no. So, like, no, like, hold it up hold it up at this level yeah and then drop it does it no it immediately for a falls. Second, I f immediately it might be a host thing maybe host can't do it yeah because there's there's no delay on my end of things when i try to do it in here so i can't actually do it watch it work like first couple tries oh my god yep, there yeah, you go I, I did it first try <laughs> 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 the problem was not your technique. It was the uh the game was failing me. Oh you're right, look at all these shapes. Oh, there's a rainbow, man! Far out. <laughs> I wonder if I could stand on your head and have you take me up with you. Alright, let's find out. I'm on your head. Oh. Oh, you backed up. Sorry. It, the gnome made me do it. So stand, try and stand a little bit behind me when you jump. Okay, Ready? I'm on you. Yep. Nope. Nope. It's like blinking for me. You're standing I'm on standing it. I'm standing on it. Dang it. What a very specific problem to have. <laughs> what a weird glitch. I wonder if they've ever had that one, like, even reported to them before, because that's such a specifically weird bug. Oh, yeah. This is going in at the end of the video. I'm going to see if I can find a YouTube video if somebody's done this before. If not, we'll be the first. Client-side power wash simulator bugs. Bug! Because we did the van last time. We did a van and a dirt bike. The dirt bike took like okay. a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Clinton's here. Hello, sir. <laughs> Get away from me, you scallywag. Can you imagine if we blow up this propane tank? Be gone with you. Hold on. Let me... Piss. <laughs> Piss. Let's go back to the short extension. Yeah, let's make music by just... Play that funky beat. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> right, I think this one's going to get done pretty quick. What do you say? Oh, look, it's a golf cart. There's a badge on the front of it that actually says golf cart. <laughs> I actually thought you meant like you took some of the dirt off and discovered. Yeah, there, there were, it was co it was covered with dirt. <laughs> hey, did you know this is a golf cart? Yeah, it's like hey, I didn't I didn't know this was a golf cart. I thought it was a semi truck. What a nice warm up. I think this is only like a hundred bucks too. Look, man, hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. Yes, yeah, that's a hundred bones, dog. Think about all the things I can buy with 100 bucks. I could buy two thirds of a Lego Xbox 360. You could buy a TV. You can buy a TV for 100. That uh, little 24 inch that I bought for the the podcast room was 80 bucks. Yeah. Walmart officially bought Vizio. 
Really? Yep. So it's gonna get even worse than it already is? Yep. All right. Oops, that's not the button I wanna push. What do we miss? Oh, we miss a lot. I'm perfect, actually you miss a lot. You did. Uh, I didn't do shit. Oh, the steering wheel. The windshield. Ah, perfect. Yay! Excellent work. Open the tablet to continue. <laughs> that was like four seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Jeff Jefferson. Uh, um, I'm gonna go to the store real quick. I'm gonna customize my gloves because it's very important. Um, didn't we do the back garden last time we played too, and the playground? Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna buy a new nozzle. I think we did the bungalow too. Hello, house. Are we gonna clean all the stone too? Yep. Oh yeah, but you got the Urban X2, baby. All right, keep on rolling, partner. Urban X2, is it just a better one? Yeah, it's just higher powered. Got it. See, so you can use like the white nozzle and clean more. <clears throat> I think that was my problem when we did the playground as I was still using the intro nozzle or the intro power washer. I typically leave, well, I'm see, I have to use the same tools that you use. Oh, so like when I buy a new one, you get a new one? Yes. Yeah, so we both were handicapped. Excellent soap work, sire. But see, like, the the white nozzle cleans a bigger area, but I like using just the plain... Is it the yellow one or the green one? The yellow one. The yellow one just seems to be the best mix between power and area of effect. That's true. Yeah, because I'm getting a lot of spots up behind with the white one. Yeah, and the yellow one doesn't do that. There we go. We just hopped in our recording room. Oscar. Oscar's here. <laughs> he can stay if he just wants to talk. Oscar said the laws of robotics prohibit him from joining back. Uh, okay. Whatever that means. <laughs> Damn it. Damn, you know, already... we got a... Sorry, what? I was gonna say, damn, we're already almost at ten percent. Yeah. But we the game we gotta play, play after after this, Viscera, uh. Crime scene cleanup simulator or whatever it is. I remember you talking about that last time. That actually sounds dope. Oscar. Oscar has it too. Ooh, is it four players? Uh, it's at least three, but I'm pretty sure it's like four or more. Yeah, if we can get Oscar in here, that'd be dope. Yeah, this this one I think is only two player, but Viscera um is four player. At least it might even be eight. Glory, glory. Brick's clean. How does your house get this dirty without it, like, actually burning down? Uh, old person that never cleans it? There's gotta be at least one other old person that lives on this block, right? Oops. Maybe. I don't know. You're right. Maybe they broke their femur. Now I just feel bad. Okay, here we go.
so relaxing. Right? Mm -hmm. It's like ASMR. Lawnmower Simulator is another one that we can play. Yeah, I didn't even... I was just thinking of Farming Simulator. I was like, what other silly simulators do we got? <laughs> Our Lawn Mowing Simulator takes forever, though, because it's like this, but so much more tedious. It's actually not super bad. I've played it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, The trick is to like do your edging and stuff along the lawn with the Weed Whacker, mm -hmm. and then you just, like, clean the big sections with the mower. Okay. That's not too bad, then. No. Okay. Goat Simulator. David oh bought us all that on Steam. The first one? Hell yeah. That game's got some crazy mods, I think. We all still need to beat the third one. It's a good fuck-around game. Oh. We also need to play more Lethal Company. Yeah, we do. We've been falling off that bandwagon. We also need to get recordings of Helldivers. It's true. It's a shame I don't own Is it. That... Right. If I had the extra funds right now, I'd totally grab it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm currently fund efficient because of uh, the car. A car payment, yeah. It's okay though, I'm happy with the car. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're happy with the car, then it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Pay on it for five years, make more than the minimum payments, and then refinance it and cut your payments in half. That's good advice. Again, we're not financial experts, but do that. Th this is the advice I'm giving to Cyrus. Mm. Nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else takes this advice, okay? Specialized. Hey, you know what I just figured out? <laughs> Ten what? minutes into this video. Um, if you click right mouse button, it just turns the sprayer on automatically. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I did this last video. I was like, there's got to be an easier way. Oh, that's right. There, There is an easier way. As it turns out. And then you can also press the C key, and it makes it so your mouse just moves the nozzle head and not your head. Correct. You guys don't like the extreme vertigo that's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Ten thousand DPI. <laughs> no way, there's graffiti on top of that window. Like you have to actually get up there unless I can hit it with the red nozzle. Let's see. Use the use the one that rotates the black nozzle. I think it is what it is. Okay. Let's see. Wow, that actually works. That is magnificent. Yeah. Great for those hard to reach places. Finally, a nozzle just for me. Okay, let's finish up this wall. Wash me, wash me. Oh wash yeah, wash me, me. Wash me. Wash me whip. Wash me nene. I think he's in prison. Oh yeah? Yeah, I think he killed somebody or something like that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, watch me. Watch me. Yeah, they watched him alright. Yeah, that was the court footage. <laughs> <laughs> Wash fence, wash fence, wash, wash fence, fence, wash, wash fence. fence. Keep hitting that button. Skeet, 
good. E-er. Went to the E-R. <laughs> Like, my brain is just shutting off right now. I don't even know what to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mindless, right? Yeah. But it's entertaining as shit, dude. Oh my gosh. It's like, uh, my, my brain has exited the chat. <laughs> uh, mindless activities. Got bricks clean. Got them bricks clean. Bricks in our hand, we stand out here. I'm about to get these bricks too, dude. I'm like the brick master. Have you seen the reel of Ronnie from Escape the Fate reacting to the way he's been singing for years? Yeah. That's actually how he says it, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, like he won't—he won't even sing it when, like, he won't even sing the lyric at his concerts anymore. Like when he's actually singing that song, he, he will not sing it anymore. He's like, he's like, I hate myself. We bump away. We bump away. <laughs> he's like, I sound like I'm deaf. Uh, good old Ronnie. What's his last name? I always forget. Radke. It is Radke? Yep. Ronnie Radke. There's another punk band out there named Radke. Like R A D K E Y. Yeah. And their last names are just is is the same as Ronnie Radke. But they're a bunch of brothers was... from Missouri. For some reason, I always think Ronnie Radke is like a dirt bike guy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, at this point, Falling Universe is just Ronnie Radke. It's like uh, Brendan Yuri to Panic. Yeah. Or, uh, what's his face to Tame Impala? Hey, everyone, did you know Tame Impala is one guy? <laughs> Fun fact. The situations are irrelevant, are irrelevant now. now. She touched my. <clears throat> I touched her. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> it was the craziest thing. Okay, let's get on the porch. Let's clean these steps. Are you in the backyard? Yeah, I'm just going around the side of the house. I pretty much got the walls done. Just got to get up there, hit the roof. Noise. Noise. Oh, speaking of reels, because you were just talking about it, um, I had to miss... Oh, the unfortunate see to log on to Instagram and the first reel I saw was a snake wrapped around somebody's uh, ceiling fan while it was turned oh, on and spinning <laughs> and the that snake kept snake. yeah it kept dropping its head and it would bounce off of the fucking uh, the fan so it was just going doo, 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 doo. and the guy's just sitting there filming laughing at it and the snake finally falls gets tangled up in the ceiling fan and gets thrown at the cameraman and it just goes oh and starts screaming <laughs> Poor stupid snake. Fuck, yeah. And it serves the cameraman right. Yeah. Well, he probably didn't know what to do because the snake was just fucking himself up. Well, <laughs> you, also, you, also never, him. you also never know if it's venomous or not. That's true. But, I mean, he could have, you know, shut the fan off. Dude, it's solid. It's like, oh, you keep hitting your face on that ceiling fan here. Let me shut it off. Nah, homie, you gotta get this content. Yeah. Gotta do it for the gram, dog. Gotta do it for the gram. I'm in it for the gram. 
Gotta do it for the threads. <laughs> Shout out to all the homies still using threads. Like, it's not dead yet, but it's like... It this, might as well be. The steam and momentum that it got when it came out to just where it's at now is insane. Hello, sirs. Sirs and or madams. Yeah, see, they also added uh, Back to the Future to this game. Yeah, I saw that. It's pretty cool. You get to watch the DeLorean. I remember that because I watched the movie. Definitely interested to see the the fourth one, but I'm not holding my breath. We don't think it's gonna be that good. No. Okay. Because Michael J. Vo J. Fox is gonna be in it, but he's not gonna have like that big of a part because of his Parkinson's. I was gonna say something that I probably shouldn't on camera, so we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> but it was a well, funny you, joke. Do you have you have the power of editing. Oh, perfect. You ready for this giant bleep? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Get power cleaned. Oh yeah. Your clean has been powered. Keep on scrubbing, partner. Brown you know what time down. it is. That was a Limp Biscuit thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm well versed in new metal. Unfortunately. You're versed in the, the lyrical clerical. <laughs> I'm a lyrical miracle spiritual. Spherical. Yeah, it, a lot of people go, man, New Middle was awesome. I don't know why people made fun of it. And it's like, yeah, because all the good stuff is what people remember. Well, yeah, and the <laughs> New Metal that was good was Corn, Limp Bizkit, mm -hmm. Slipknot. You know, the shit that people like listening to. Stuff that's considered dad rock now. Mm -hmm. I have to look it up. Somebody compiled a list of the worst New Metal bands that are like actually terrible. Like, people that were, like, charting in the top ten of the hard rock category and then dropped off the face of the planet because nobody gave a shit about them afterwards. All of them? Yeah, pretty much. Puddle of Mud had one good album. Yeah, Blurry. They had one good song, Blurry. <laughs> she fucking hates me. Nah, okay, nah, yeah, that, th that song's not good, though. It's just catchy and everybody listened to it when they had a bad breakup. Yeah, pretty much. Or I was a kid and it was just what was on the radio, you know? Yeah. I remember when Psycho came out and I used to think that was such a cool song and I tried listening to it again. And like, you realize how awful of a singer he is. Cause he's like, maybe I'm the wow. Who wears <laughs> schizophrenic psycho, yeah. I, I know Stanley. more. I know more lyrics to Puddle of Mud songs than I care to admit. <laughs> Somebody at my work was excited because they were like, oh, I'm thinking about going to the Puddle of Mud concert because they played here. And then I'm I sorry. Yeah, I showed them one of their live concerts and they changed their mind pretty quickly. I was like, yeah, he's just, he's not good. That's Scott Stapp, right? Um, no. Or is that, that's Creed. That's Creed. Uh, Puddle of Mud is West Scantlin. Yeah, yeah. Also, I saw a post with Corey Taylor recently. That dude is fucking skinny now. Yeah, he lost a skinny. bunch of weight. Speaking of music, I was listening to the Marshall Mathers LP2 today. Because that was straight up one of my favorite albums in high school. 
Yeah. It holds up super well. I like there's some songs on it that are like Eminem has a ballad on there called Stronger Than I Was, and it is so awful. Like, you know how he does his, like, singing sometimes in his songs and he's, like, mocking himself or it's, like, Mockingbird where he's really trying? Yeah. Okay, tur- amp up how serious he is, but the skill does not increase. It's really bad. I liked Encore and Curtain Call. Some crazy yeah, albums. Stuff. Hell yeah. He won't perform uh, cleaning out my closet anymore. That's understandable. He regrets making that song according to some interview or something I heard somewhere. I don't doubt it. Probably some memories associated with it. Yeah. I know uh, Gwen Stefani was talking recently about um, No Doubt is reuniting at Coachella this year. I heard about that. And she's like, I have to relearn a lot of the songs. And she says she can't listen to some of them because it just like brings back terrible memories from like the songwriting process or specific memories with the band and shit. Yeah. I was like, that's, yeah, that's fine. Like I know, uh, what was it? Slipknot's album All Hope Is Gone is I think one of their best records, but Corey Taylor hates that album because he did not enjoy recording it. Right. Well, they were, it's like Korn doesn't perform most of their old stuff anymore because, you know, they're, they're not doing that much heroin anymore. Mm-hmm. Dang it. We should make them an offer. <laughs> your songwriting. Or we get your songwriting. You receive drugs. You receive all of the heroin. Mm-hmm. How much heroin do you want? All of it? Okay. All of it. Look outside, <laughs> bud. See that helicopter? <laughs> Came straight from Colombia. Allegedly. Straight off the boat, <laughs> straight to your nose. Hurry up. Drugs are bad. Okay. Corn was in South Park, so technically it's canon. Corn was in South Park. This is correct. Well, I mean, Rush uses the South Park bit in their, like, actual song now when they perform it. <laughs> Another audience. For Tom Sawyer. Yeah, for Tom Sawyer, they actually use the South Park bit. <laughs> it's good for them. It's good to be self aware. Not like Kanye, who rejected it so hard that people still call him a gay fish. (laughs) To his face? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, he kind of is a gay fish. He's definitely a Nazi. A Nazi fish? One fish, two fish? Yeah, he's a Nazi fish. Red fish, Jew fish? No, he doesn't like those. I am Markiplier. Oh, everybody, Markiplier. I feel like Markiplier could make a video where he just looks at the camera and says every racial slur that appears on Wikipedia and just totally be fine. He like could just, he could recover. He could, just re- he could just recreate that most racist song uh, <laughs> ever. I'll just do a cover. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe it. I feel like Mark Mark Potter's got that reputation where everyone just be like, "That was weird, but okay, it's okay, dog." It's like that. It's like that was that was uh, out of character for him, but it was catchy, you know. Maybe it's AI, right? Maybe it's Maybelline. (laughs) Maybe. Hello, everybody. Mabel Applier here. It's railing, come on. I'm missing like two pieces, two chunks. Got it. There we go. And the post. Okay, 
come over here, clinging this point in the punch. Yeah, I was like, this the is the back side of the roof for you. Awesome. I was like, this is going really quickly. Uh, Seventy-four percent, not too bad. I'm most of the roof clean. Excellent. I don't know if I mentioned, but I did finish Pal World. I got all the achievements. Oh, you did? Yeah. Holy crap. Wasn't the worst game to complete, because I actually had fun playing it. Did you turn, like, all of the, like, bonuses all the way up? I turned up the XP, because it was, like, I already had, like, 40 hours in the game, and I was at level 27. I was like, yeah, no, we're, we're not doing this. Yeah, but it's, it's a hell of a grind if you don't turn the XP up. Other than that, I pretty much left everything the same. Yeah. Still don't know how to use cleaner. I'm just fucking spraying it everywhere. Is that what you're supposed to do with it? I hope so. Alright, switch back to the urban. Um, have you seen that girl that was on, um, it was like America's Got Talent or whatever, um, she see like, she talks in a super, like, high-pitched, like, little kid cartoony voice, and, mm -hmm. like, sings in a baritone? Really? I can't, I can't remember what her name is, it's like, Ami something or other. Mm -hmm. It was on the one with, like, Blake Shelton in it. But, um... The voice, maybe. I yeah, it was the voice, it was the voice. Okay. So she's pretty big on like reels and stuff now. Like she's like doing reels and things like that. She did one the other day um, where she had braided her hair and then she started talking like Riley from the Boondocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that could have went she, so many different ways. Yeah, <laughs> like she was like. Cause like, she's like, I just braided my hair and there's something I want to do. And she like, she pulls like her towel or whatever, or her do-rag, whatever she had on her head off. <laughs> and, um, she, she starts talking and I'm like, hey, it's Riley. <laughs> it's Riley, but it's clean. God, that's a show that I always wish would come back. The Boondocks? Yeah. It was a really good show. I remember watching the fourth season when I was younger, like back in high school when it premiered, and I was not really in tune with why people thought the fourth season was terrible, and I went back and watched it again recently, and I, I get it now, I understand. It is nothing like yeah. the rest of the series. Like in one episode, uh, God, what was it? Grandpa was just dating a Kardashian. Yeah. I think that's what the episode was about, and I was just like, oh my God. And that was the best episode of the season. My favorite episode's still a pimp named Slickback. No, it's a pimp named Slickback. Huh, Tribe Called Quest? You don't call him Quest, huh? <laughs> it's like, like a Tribe Called Quest. You don't just call him Quest. <laughs> He's got a point. Artist formerly known as Prince. Spinner, let's go. It's like a tribe called Quest. You say the whole damn thing. I wonder if one of these other cleaners would work really well here. Let's put on the sub nozzle. Well, it tells you what the materials are that you're looking at. Yeah. House roof, would that be brick? I'm gonna say it's brick. Definitely it would. Well, no, it, it tells you like what kind of cleaner to use on it. It tells you multi-purpose, wood, metal. Mm -hmm. Where does it say that? Oh, multi-purpose, uh-oh. 
Well, we're just gonna... We're just not gonna do that anymore, are we? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. That's crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Rats? Rats make me crazy. Yeah, here we go. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. Rats? Rats make me crazy. I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber okay. A room full of rats. <laughs> crazy? I played Power Watch the Cold once. We watched a roof. A really big roof. A really big roof that Colton stood on. Colton. I know a Colton. We used to play Power Wash. Haha, used to? We currently are. What the hell? <laughs> we, we, used, we used to and, and now we're not because Cyrus is going to bury me in the woods. Mm -hmm. We're in suburbia right now. Hey, hop in my van. <laughs> I said, Tone, get in the car. And he wasn't. He wasn't having it. So I took care of business. Hey, what the fuck, Polly? Hey, Joey Fatone. Calm down, T. I got it. Joey Fatone was in NSYNC? NSYNC. I'm saying NSYNC. He, he was in one of the two boy bands that existed in the 90s. Because nobody remembers 98 Degrees. Nope. Is that another new metal band? <laughs> Definitely not. Oh. Darn it. They were another NSYNC Backstreet Boys wannabe. Backseat Boys. The Backseat Boys? Not to be confused with the Vanga Boys. The Viagra Boys? Sure. Yeah, okay. They make some dub songs. Hey, if I fall off the roof and break my leg, do I get Workman's Comp? No, we don't have insurance. Oh, okay. Do I get to keep the suit? Until the ambulance drivers cut it off of you. Alright. That's a souvenir, we'll put it in a case. There's a spot right on the peak of the roof that I can't reach. I don't think this is a Minecraft. What, what, like, right here. I'm gonna fall off. <laughs> well. Hi. Hi. Let's try that again. Still, still a workman's comp for you. Well, at least the ambulance is gonna give me this nifty jacket back. No, they're going to give you a nifty jacket. It's going to be white, and your <laughs> arms are going to be tied behind your back. Rats. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what the hell are we missing still? This gutter up here Drive, is pretty dirty. Driveway edges, gutter, and house roof. Okay, I'll get the two of those three. And windows. Windows. I don't think we can clean our computers, dog. Oh, I I, wow, you, you, you missed a lot over here. Oh, did I? Yeah. It's alright, I got you, boo. I was coming back for it. You didn't lay down on the ground and get underneath the stuff. Yeah, I'm hearing it. Just got home from work, I want to relax. I want to play some Power Wash. Take a pill, take a chill pill. Almost got it. See so if we can get away with using the green nozzle. Kinda. Got the house roof. There we go. What are we missing now? Some bricks, driveway edges, window frames, and, and window trips. frames and trims. Golly. Let me get off the roof. 360. No scope. Oh. <laughs> I landed back on the roof. I bet you some of the wood trims are on the roof. Oh, I see. Never mind. 
I see one of the windows that's been missed. There's bricks. Is that all the bricks? Yep, bricks are done. So driveway edges, window frames, wooden trims. What about the neighbor's house? Do they need to get their shit cleaned? There we go. Hello, Miss Parker. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, did you get the window? Yeah. It was that one up there. Ah. Hmm. It could have been anybody. I'm like three feet from my monitor. I gotta know. Three feet, three inches. <laughs> three feet's normal. <laughs> Maybe it's a tree. I'm gonna go shoot the tree. Okay. Anybody check the mailbox? Oh wait, I think we can go th in here. Can we click on that? Can we power wash the inside? supposed to be a way to like make it show like what piece it is okay oh the top of the garage the top of the garage frame really yep I'm gonna get back on the house. Maybe I can hit it from this stool. Ugh. Oh, that one. Yep. Uh. Fuck, we picture that. This ought to do it. Oh, there's a lot of it. We're gonna jump shot it the whole time. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh yeah. That was one of them. You know what? We got it. Cool. Just one more. Oh, I see it. He sees it. Spray too. Yep, it's the back side of this one. There it is. Got it. Excellent work, sir. Did it. Four stars. What? What we do wrong? Work, sir. Complete the soul of the shoe house last. That's the achievement for this one. Okay. Let's go for it. So we need to do the soul of the shoe last. What is the soul? Okay, so very this part, part right here this part right here is the soul. Okay. So everything above that. We got it. Oh, this thing's fucking dirty, dirty. Use the yellow nozzle. It works the best. Coincidentally, that is what I'm using. Uh, you don't have the extender on your gun. Nope. I don't have one. That's... No, yeah, you do. Does it come with one? Because I do. Ooh, okay. Never mind. Oh, you're, you're, you're also still using the first... No, this is gun. the second one. The Urban X. You are using the second one? Yeah. Okay, I just have a skin on it then. I don't have Mine's no vanity. Easy. Ooh, we're actually on.
we ought to try to do that one for cleaning 90% of a job or 95% of a job without finishing anything together. Yeah. So that way we only we both only have to do it the one time. <laughs> yeah. Um That way when we mess up somebody else feels the pain. So yeah. We're not just suffering in sullenness. Like that's that's the one time playing this game where you dread hearing the ding. You hear ding and you go mother of stinker. Yep. I'm like, oh, I wish homicide was legal because I wanna need to meet a dev. It's like, and now we're uh, going to the purge. <laughs> what do you use your purge on? Oh, you know, um, powerwatch game dev. dev. Yeah, no big deal. What they do? Ah, it's stupid issue, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the achievement community is pretty t ticked off at a uh, game developer. They're delisting a game that has 68 broken achievements, and they have no plans to fix the achievements. Wow. Yeah. Good for them. What game is that? I don't even remember. I think it's some train game. Oh. Maybe. I don't quite remember. Put the top of this window frame. There we go. Don't touch a tram. Yeah, this this shoe is gross. I mean, if a giant wore this shoe, man. Come on. It's a That's house, it. though. It's a boot barn. It's the little old lady that lived in the shoe. Oh, how's her cupboards? Probably Unrelated. disgusting. <laughs>
new job available. Somebody found something in their garage. Gross. Keep it. Yada da 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 We're doing a pretty swell job. Doing a bang up job there, chap. Pings, pa ping, pa ping. Pa ping, pa ping. Cha ching, cha ching. Ra ring, ra ring. And about that cha 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 ching, cha ching, di ding. I'm just chilling at the Holiday Inn. Yo, we at the motel, hotel. We eating our beats, white. Castle Chick fil -A. We at the BK Talk Bell Mickey D's. <laughs> you said no reason the ladder. <laughs> yeah, there's no way. <laughs> That's when Colton said there was no way. And there was no way. So uh, I still need ideas this year for the uh, April Fools podcast. I legit cannot think of anything. I've legit had the idea to set up a camera or like a recorder in my car and then drive to your place for eight hours to do the first in-person Colton podcast. And then it would just be me getting out of the car, giving you a fist bump, and that would be it. <laughs> just end it there. That's that. That's a wild sell for a. For a yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, I'd be totally fine with that. You're welcome to come chill. Oh yeah. Well, with this new car, um, I'm like, I want to drive. Yeah. It'd be one hell of a drive, though. It's not too bad, though. It really isn't. I've never made the drive myself. Because I didn't take my car last time we came up to Oregon. Right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think of something else, too. Ooh, I made another roof. Here we go.
Um, heck yeah. This roof's getting so clean. For, for this year's one, you could also just like title it the movie title and be like, the Cobb Bros movie is finally out. Here's the trailer. And then it's just something ridiculous. <laughs> off the wall and not related in any way shape or form mm -hmm. and that could actually be our our april fool's joke perpetually going forward is that we're finally releasing the movie the movie's finally coming out <laughs> yeah the movie hit a snag last year everybody had a kid yeah understandable but the movie everybody will be except for us hell yeah dude that's why we're playing power watch dude look how much free time we have can play all this yeah. shit. Okay, looks like you got that. I'm gonna hit this trim right here because I forgot. Yeah, we're ninety four percent done. Check out our checklist. Um, one of the eyelets is like right there. And another wall. Yeah, we we're almost there. Was that the eyelet? Uh, I wasn't checking. Yeah, that was an eyelet. We have four more boot walls, so probably just a little bit more dirt. Two window frames, a window, and six more wooden trims. I'm gonna look out for wooden trims. Get back up here. Oh, sticky keys. <laughs> I have that disabled. Haha, <laughs> I'm not this smart. When it, uh, so when you're done gaming today, mm -hmm. just bring up sticky keys again, and then it'll give you, like, in the options for it, you can shut it off. Sticky keys remind me I'm alive. Keeps me humble. Oh, I found some of the wood trim. The wood trim is, like, behind the shoelaces. Yeah. There you go. How much wood trim do we have left? Four. I'm gonna find these last four wood trims. How much wood could a wood trim trim if a wood trim could trim wood? Man, dude, I can't speak that fast. I don't know how Eminem is totally rapist like that. Boot wall. What? So if you click on the ones that aren't completed, in the little list, it'll make them blink. Okay. There we go, got that window frame done. This boot wall has that's a the, little that, piece that's of the That's right the there. boot wall. I see it, it's right under this eyelet. There we go. All right, um, okay. one window frame walls. and three window trims, or three wooden frames. Which window is it? This boot wall. Right here. I gotta take that extendo off. Oops, that's not the nozzle. Still this one that I'm working on right here. 
the boot wall? Yeah, it's this one. Ooh, we're almost done. Two wooden trims and a window frame. I just, did you get that wooden trim or was that me actually? I, I, I got that wooden trim. Okay, I'm about to get this window. Okay. One trim. I got the last wooden trim. Oh, that's it, soul. There it is. Soul. Let's do it. Victory lap. The soul is 5% of this fucking thing. That's pretty easy. You just have to be watching out for it. Yep. I know how much of an achievement fiend you are, so. Fucking crack, dude. Let's see if the achievement actually pops or if game bar's on one today. It may not pop right away, but like the next time you load the game, it'll pop for sure. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Soul task. <laughs> Victory lap. Uh, you're shooting right through me, dog. Yep. Oh, no. It looks like I'm pissing right here. There we go. <laughs> Let it out. God, this is so much faster with two people. Because <laughs> <laughs> that still took like 30, th th yeah, about 30 minutes. Yeah. So it would have been an hour I, solo. Uh, it's about an hour and a half. Yikes. <laughs> well then, I think I'm going to call it there in an hour and a half. Sounds good to me. Excellent work today. Thank you for coming Excellent out to work. the job site. Yeah. Oh, let me. For the invite. I'm going to read these messages. <laughs> to close it off it says hello is this the grind bandits i need some help with my poor little play school you got a stinky butt butt i want a yogurt tube johnny bit me i ate his yogurt i'm going poop i done it i'm so sorry about all that charlie found my phone <laughs> the last one's like a normal message so who cares gnome you've been gnomed